So, uh, what do we have here today? We have the HTC One M9. As some of you have probably seen already on our channel, we have made an unboxing video of this phone. This device has been released in March 2015. We know it's a bit old now, uh, but we have received it now for testing from Vodafone and we, we are really thankful for the opportunity to them. Uh, what I want to do in this video is uh, just to quickly show you what you get with the standard version of a Vodafone HTC One M9. Obviously, you have uh, pre-installed applications and specific uh, stuff for Vodafone, so I just want to show you what you get uh, when you first install it and you uh, synchronize it with your Google account. This one is running uh, Marshmallow, uh, excuse me, Lollipop. It would be good if it was Marshmallow, but it isn't. So this one uh, has a Lollipop a 502. I'm going to settings and I want to show you um this software information so there you go uh, the htc sense version is 7.0 software number i don't think that's um, of much importance but when you go to software updates and obviously you want to check for these there is still no update even to 511 um uh, and Marshmallow, of course, is not there as well. Still, we're waiting for this. These devices have to get it soon, very soon. Uh, we've heard reports that HTC One M9 is getting um, update to Marshmallow in the United States just at the moment. So hopefully this will come to the UK very soon as well. So what you get here uh, once you set up uh, the basic uh, synchronization with your Google account on the HTC uh, One M9. Uh, so, you get the standard messaging app, uh, the um, uh, contact, uh, like the, um, the phone, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> your contacts and phone app here, and uh, you get gallery, calendar, maps, all these kind of Google related things in a folder, which uh, can be seen here, and you have media apps that are uh, all organized here, camera, music, FM, radio, photo editor and Cloudex. That's um, stuff uh, that comes with HTC in general. So most of these apps are typical for HTC, uh, but also you have additional stuff that is coming uh, with your phone when you buy it from Vodafone. So you get my Vodafone. We have quite a few of those, but these are in different languages. That's why there are a few of them. And on your home screen, you can also see you have um, suggestions and you have recent downloads. Here you have the Mes Message Plus, Co Plus, Net Performance and Vodafone Wallet. All specific things for Vodafone. Um, and you can see them here as well. You have uh, information about updates. Um, protect, speed test, uh, TV net, voice. that's uh, something again connected to Vodafone. You have also Vodafone FM and Vodafone Kiosk, um, which is quite handy. All these apps could do you uh, a lot of good if you don't want really to add um, additional third-party software to your uh, device. Uh, what else? We have to say that the phone uh, has a five inch display it has a really nice camera uh, the main camera is 20 megapixels uh, the selfie one that on the front is only four megapixels but it makes uh, decent selfies so we can't really um, find any fault there uh, the camera app let me show you how it looks like um, is very very cool let me just uh, yeah show you this so on the side you can pop up this um, menu here and you get additional settings and you can set up quite a few things it's a really really good uh, camera app and by just swiping you can go to panorama mode camera or selfie mode uh, you can set up all these things you can set the level of uh, your ISO uh, AWB and so on and so on you can also add different modes from here as you can see, you can have a split capture, photo booth, and so on and so on. But this um, video is not about uh, the camera app. I just want to show you quickly what you get with the phone. I have to say that um, the phone feels really heavy in the hand. Uh, it's uh, much heavier, or at least I feel that way, uh, than my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. And also, it's a bit bulkier. It's um, quite thick 
for a phone that doesn't have special edges or anything like that. Um, it also has speakers on the top and on the, bo on the bottom, as you can see, uh, which I think are taking too much space, uh, to be honest. You also have the HTC Low here at the bottom. That's, again, waste of space. You have like half an inch there that is lost, basically. There's nothing. This is, this is not a control or button or anything like that. So I think this is waste of space. It makes the phone even bulkier than it is already. This is my first impression. Obviously, I have to use it and test it a little bit more uh, to say if it's worth the money or not. I will on only uh, just make another uh, last um, check for you guys and I want to show you how quickly this device uh, is being uh, restarted. I don't want to power it off. I will restart and I want to see how fast will this take. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, that's quite loud. More than 20 seconds, probably 30. Who knows? You can check the total length uh, if you just skip ahead in this video and you'll see for yourself how long. I took, um, it's not too bad, obviously things need to be loaded, you have to unlock your phone and get all applications loaded up fully as well. So this is my quick first um, overview. Uh, so far I'm not very impressed to be honest by this phone. The settings menu looks a bit just simple. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word but I find it really simple and really basic it just everything about this phone could be improved i think with an update to marshmallow or even to olipo 511 i think there will be much more improvements one the um, improvements once this happens but obviously um we don't know if this will happen while the we have the phone with us so bear with us uh we'll uh keep you informed uh, how we feel about this phone and we'll make uh uh, a couple of other videos that will compare and test this phone against other devices as well. So this is the HTC One M9. As I said, if you like the video, click that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.